Hello students. Hope you are having a lovely day. First, I would like to warmly welcome you all to NSPM Green University on behalf of the IT support services of NSPM. This video is about the e-services that we are providing to you in order to make your academic life easier. During your academic venture, you will have to know how to use three basic platforms. Those are Outlook, MS Teams and NLearn. If I may explain, Outlook is the platform that we use in order to communicate with NSBM. Important messages, notices and announcements will be shared with you through this platform. Meanwhile, if you wish to get any information, you may use this platform to communicate with the university. MS Teams is where we conduct online lectures. All recordings will be shared through this platform. NLearn is one of the key platforms that we use in order to share all lecture materials. And if you are to submit your assignments, also online examinations, we use this platform. Before explaining how to use these platforms, you might raise this question of how can we log into these systems? That students, you should have received an email with all credentials. In simple terms, the username and password. So, you will have to use those credentials in order to log into these systems. Without further ado, now we can go to discuss how to use Outlook. As I told you, Outlook is the platform we use to communicate with the students or the students with the university. All your timetables and even the meeting links will be sent to this platform. Now let's see how to log in to this locale. First, you will have to use your web browser. Mine is Google and in the search bar, you may type Office 365. And over there, in this page, the top topic Office 365 Login Microsoft Office, you can see it, click on it. Then it will lead to a page like this. Over there, you will have to log in with the credentials given by the university to you. Then click on Next. And then enter your password. I'm repeating myself here. The credentials for the relevant logins must have been sent to you through an email. So you may use those password and the ID address in order to log in to these accounts. Now you click on, after you enter the password, you may click on sign in. This will lead to the official Microsoft page. Over here, you can see all the packages available for you. Now we are looking into Outlook. Therefore, here as you can see Outlook Logan, you will have to log into this logo. This is your email page. If you want to send a new message, you may use this icon here, click on it and send a new message or an email. This is your inbox where you will receive all the emails sent by the university, even the meeting links, as you can see here. And this is all that you have to do when it comes to logging into Outlook. This is your inbox 
and this is your sent items, whatever the email that you sent will be displayed here. If you want to log out from this platform, you may use the icon over here and click on it. Here you can see your name and your address. Click on sign out if you wish to sign out. And that is all with Outlook. And we are now can talk about how to log into MS Teams. We use MS Teams in order to deliver lectures to the students. It is exactly like Zoom platform. Over here, students can attend to lectures, plus they will be able to refer to the lecture recordings. Now let's see how to use MS Teams. It is the same process. You may go to your web browser and then you can type in your search bar Office 365, which is the same procedure we followed in order to log into Outlook. And then sign in to your relevant account. You may enter the user ID and the password here. Now I have already entered the user ID, so they are asking for the password and I have entered it too. Now click on sign in. They might ask this question whether you want to stay signed in. So if you wish to stay signed in, you may select yes, if not, no. I wished to say sign in, therefore, yes. Now, this is the same interface that we used before. Now, you can use Teams in order to log into Teams. Click on Teams. Over here, they might ask whether we want the Windows app. So if you wish to download the Teams desktop app and stay better connected, of course, you may click on this button, get the Windows app and proceed. If not, you can use the web instead. So I'm going to use the web app. Therefore, I'm going to click here, use the web app instead. So this is how MS Teams platform looks like. You have different topics over here and even your name over here. Now we shall move on to the relevant module. So you can see if you have different subjects, you may have different team cards. So you may click on the relevant like this and then here, you may go to your lecture. So if you wish to join in to the lecture, you may click on this purple bar. Now, if you wish to join in, here again, you will have to click on this particular icon. Over here, if you switch on your video cam, you can see how you look like. If you want to add a background, you can use this. And if you wish to switch on your microphone, you can use this before you log into the lecture. This is a preparation platform. Now, if you click on this button, you will directly join to your lecture. If you wish to chat with the lecturer, you may use the chat box over here. If you wish to raise a hand, you may use this icon. And if you wish to see the participants, you may see it from here. And if you want to hang up or leave the meeting, you can click on this red button. 
So I am going to leave the meeting now. Therefore, I'm going to hang up. And I left the meeting. So this is one way for you to log into the lecture. There is another way, which is the calendar. When you go to the calendar, you will see the lectures over here in your calendar. The lectures which has been scheduled for you. So over here, you may click on this lecture and join in. Again, it is the same procedure. I'm going to leave now. And there is one more thing I want to tell you, which is these two icons. Over posts, you can see the lectures that has been scheduled for you. And this icon, files. If you go to files, you can see recordings if there are any. A file named recordings, a folder named recordings. If you wish to refer to any of the recordings, you can click on that folder and refer the recording relevant to the lecture materials. So that is all that we have to know or we should know about MS Teams and I hope that is sufficient for you. And now, if I wish to log out from MS Teams, I may use this icon over here and I can click on Sign Out. Here we go. I have successfully signed out from MS Teams. NLEARN is the learning management platform that we use in order to deliver lecture materials to the students. This might include slides of the lectures, assignment submission links, group enrollment links, online quizzes, examination links and many more. Now let's see how to log into this phase. You may go to your web browser and over here you may type nlearn.nspn.ac.lk. That will lead to this phase. This page here you may type your user ID and then your password. After you type all these credentials, you may Click on the button Log In. So this is how our NSPM learning platform, which is NLEARN, looks like. As you can see, you have Home, Dashboard, Events, My Courses and Online Materials. Now, whatever the thing is relevant to you is Course Overview. Over here, you will find all of your courses. This is just a demo that we have, but you will find several cards here according to your subjects. So you may click on one of the cards that you wish to join in and it will lead to this page, which includes all of your lecture materials. Meanwhile, a quiz if, they, if the lecture gives you a quiz or some materials which is relevant to your lectures. So if you wish to download any of these materials, you may click on the document and this will come as the document and uh, as a different page and if you wish to download it, you may click on downloads and it can be downloaded to any location of your computer. Right?
and if you wish to go back, you may use the button back and again you will come to the main location. And if you want to go to the main dashboard, we will have to click on dashboard. Then again you will see all of your lecture module cards. So this is how we will have to use in learn and here you can see your name and if you wish to log out from this account you may click on the arrow here and select log out. Over there you have successfully logged out from in learn. Now students, you are all ready to use the basic IT platforms of NSPN. From this video, we talked about how to use Outlook, how to use MS Teams, and how to use NLearn. So I take this opportunity to wish you all good luck and all the best in your academic journey. I should say that you are a very lucky student to be a part of NSBN.